What's up guys, uh, we're just going to be doing a little how-to video on how to stream with OBS and Elgato from your Mac laptop computer. Um, I know there's a bunch of how-to videos on, you know, Windows and that whole process, but streaming from a laptop is very tricky, especially with a Mac, just because of, you know, lack of power, so we're just going to go ahead and jump into it. Um, so first things first, you guys are going to want to open up Elgato Game Capture HD app and if you don't already have that, I will leave a link to that down below. Um, so that's what's opened up on the left side of the screen. Now on the right side, this is OBS software, open broadcast something. Um, and this is what we're going to be using to stream from Elgato. And there's numerous ways to stream with Elgato, but OBS is one that's commonly used. Um, and if you guys want a how-to video on how to <clears throat> create all these other overlays, um, stream commands that you guys can see on the bottom left right here, over here that I'm running over my cursor with. Um, go ahead, let me know down in the comment sections below, and I will go ahead and do that, no problem. Um, it's pretty basic stuff, but you know it's kind of tricky uh, to figure out. So over here, you guys first off are going to want to open up OBS, click on it, make sure it's active. Um, for sources, as you can see, I have my other setups already here, um, but you're going to want to click this little plus button, then you can go ahead and name it. You're going to see this. And just name it whatever you want, click OK, and that'll be that. So then what you guys are going to want to do is go over here where it says Sources. Click this little plus button, and there's numerous amounts of sources that you uh, will be able to choose from. Now, some things that are important are this audio input capture, which is your microphone. And we'll get into that in a little bit, but for now, you're not going to want to click Game Capture. Do not click Game Capture. That is more for window-based things. Um, I know it does not work with Apple because something with the software and the linking between the two. Um, so what you guys are going to want to do is display capture as we are going to be looking over here and capturing what is happening on the Elgato and streaming from OBS to Twitch, you know, whatever else it is, Restream and all other platforms that you guys are choosing from. So what we're going to name it over here is um, Elgato ca Tutorial. So we're just going to, I'm just going to click Add Existing because I've already set it up. But you guys just click Create New. Name it whatever you want. Um, click the OK button. Make Source Visible. So this is what you guys will see. And as you can see, there is still some, you know, weird layouts over here on the right side of my Elgato. Now, what you guys are not going to want to do is let anything overlap over the Elgato app because it will create this mess and that's just something no one wants to deal with you can see it goes on for infinity and infinity which is pretty frustrating and annoying but you guys are going to want to slide this all the way over and make sure nothing's over what you are trying to capture um, and then you guys are going to want to control click and you guys are going to want to go to filters so here you're going to just I'm going to minimize this so you guys can't see that just yet but as you can see anything over it will come up on the OBS and that's what will be streamed so you guys are going to again want to slide that all the way over crop slash pad just go ahead and name it whatever I'm just going to name it crop for the sake of the video um, and then what you guys are going to want to do is be able to see how much you want to crop from top to bottom right to left in what you are streaming so as you can see, you can see all my stream commands and whatnot. You can see on top of my app all that extra black space that we don't want to be in the stream. So you're going to go to 200. It might be different on yours depending on the size of your Mac. And anyways, we're, I'm just going to go ahead and over here. You can keep clicking. You can hold it down um, one by one. And that will get you to exactly where you want to be. So 225, we're probably looking at around, yeah, so like 275-ish. Um, so there's that. So that's for the top part. You can see over here, over there that it mostly does not cover just everything. So then we're going to go ahead and go right. And as you can see, there are still little, little bit of shade on the right. So not much, but just some, that's a little too much. Um, let's see. Um, sorry that went white um, just play with it until you guys can crop it out and just get so the window is only displaying what's on the left side of your screen 
so it is a bit tricky um it does get a bit frustrating but you'll figure it out eventually um it's hard to see it just because the camera is in the way for myself but um i'm gonna go ahead and do that there um okay so obviously it's a lot more than just something simple like that for me so we're almost there there so maybe okay that's a little too much so we're gonna want to throw it back just a little bit maybe even a little more um mm, let's just go ahead and keep it at at this just for the sake of time alright so that's good there for me for right now I already have everything else set up but you guys get the gist of that just cropping it so only that is captured and then what you're wanting, gonna want to do is bottom whatever it is for you it's all gonna be different for every single one of us and then so that's a little too much for myself um, and then there is looks just about right press enter and then as you can see that's what that's what you'll be streaming and then you guys are gonna wanna just drag this crop it to around full um, obviously I need to do a little more cropping um, but that's just the kind of the basis of it and then if you guys wanted a face cam and all you wanted to do from Elgato was just stream your gameplay um, you can go ahead and take out all these overlays that I have on and then you're gonna click add you're gonna click audio input capture just test for the sake of the video um, device then you can choose exactly what it is that you guys want to speak into for your audience to hear um, so to say so that's for that as you can see down here it's for my built-in microphone um, just to keep things simple then you guys are gonna want to add not image but video capture device and from here I'm just gonna name this one testing okay and then device used so you can use your camera from the computer I have an Osdom FHD camera so I will leave the link to that down below as well it's a great camera it captures good quality at a very very affordable price um, and then you can click either one of the two um, we'll just go ahead and do face camera okay and then make it exactly whatever size you want just right there so you guys can see me both but I'm just gonna go ahead and hide that over here just because we already have one of me two of me three of me I guess but you guys are going to want to make sure this is on top of your Elgato because if it's if it I'll show you what happens if it's below because it I believe it does yeah so it hides it because you put Elgato um, in front of it so you guys are going to want to put that above the Elgato so it displays over what you are recording um, and then basically that's it for that setup and then over here you have your two buttons start streaming start recording if you want to start streaming start streaming um, for the start recording that's also if you want to just simply capture your gameplay as well so that's that and if you have any other questions you know if I left anything out please let me know feel free to leave it down in the comment section I'll try to get in touch I'm not too busy but I just want to make sure this was helpful for you guys so let me know what you think in the comments. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. I am streaming FIFA, so I'll leave a link to my Twitch down below as well. And uh, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, I hope for your support.